Hello and welcome to BusyWorksBeats.com. Today we're going to be sampling. We're going to make a Larry June style track. We're playing Rhythm Roulette today. Sample Roulette. And uh, this is Grover Washington Jr.'s Mr. Magic album. I sampled a part of it into the FL. And we're going to flip this into a Larry June. We're going to play basically the key is all the white notes except for F. We put the record down and then we're going to build around this kind of ambient Foley type sound. Okay, so first thing I need to do is create a chord progression. We're at 98 BPM. You guys can go to tools, macro, go to switch all audio clips to stretch mode. Basically any samples you have will be locked into your tempo. So if you change the tempo, you won't, your thing won't be moving around and doing all this crazy stuff. Okay, we're at 98 BPM. So the first thing I like to do is create the chords. I'm not listening for the sample for the music. It's more so for the texture. For the chords, it, I have to at least not clash with the sample. So we're gonna use all the white notes except for F. We're gonna build out some chords. And once I have a chord progression, then we're gonna build the four layers, top line, harmony section, your contrast section, and your rhythm section. So this is just a texture. Technically it has harmony in it. All right, so let's start mapping out some chords here. I'm using the chord chronos for these sounds here. Because there's so much music, I'm going to try to do just the Foley. But the thing is that chord comes in, so it kind of eats up this entire part here. So what we have to do is kind of fit our music around the sample, but create a unique approach. So this is going to be a little bit more music theory based. Uh, so we have to start working backwards, but we're not using the sample to tell us what to do. We're building around the sample. We just don't want the sample to get in the way. We're going to rearrange these parts here. Okay, I'm using those leading tones to guide the ear. All right, so these are going to create. So 
got to mesh those two sections together a little bit more. Chop this out. So the main thing with trying to build on top of a sample is to get the right sounds that feel like they're from a sample, not like a super synthetic sound going over a super organic sound. So we're using the same instruments they would use on something like this. This is like a Mark II piano, E-piano. Now I just gotta figure out this last chord. So now we have that passing chord. You guys can learn music theory at busyworksbeats.com slash premium. Okay, so that's how we got to that chord, this turnaround chord here. We're gonna chop it just so it fits the loop. All right, so again, we're gonna break this down into four sections, the top line, the harmony section, the contrast layer, and the rhythm section. Now we need to find some drums that also, I'm going to do bass before I do drums though. And here I might loop the sample so that we're not getting new music. Alright, so let me find a bass that matches. So now we're basically creating a, a song around a sample and then we're going to sample ourselves by adding drums here. I'm trying to think of any other thing we could add to this, maybe like some sound effect or some high pitch lead type sound.
right, so you guys, again, will get the project files for free at busyworksbeats.com slash FL Studio. So if I'm moving too fast, you guys could always get the samples there. Um, so that was like a lead synth. I was just adding that for to guide the ear through those chords. Turn that down, though. Okay, so we could probably add like one more thing in here. Let's let's see if we can find an '80s type sound. Doubling down on the 70s vibe with this flute. to chop the flute out so it's not just going all the way through. So we'll add little touches over time. I don't want to get overly obsessed with like the base layer stuff, B-A-S-E layer stuff. Okay, so we have all the elements. We have the top line element. We have the contrast and the base. We have the lead, which is top line. We have the chords. So we're pretty much done the fundamental stuff, the harmony. Okay, so now we need some drums. Let's add some rhythm in this track. So for the drums, I really like Beat Butcher stuff. Uh, for the boom bap type drums, Beat Butcher has the best drum breaks in my opinion. So I'm listening for the snare and the cymbals to see if I could use all these drums. this snare fits this vibe let's right click now usually i'll just drag and drop the sample let's see how that fits but most of the time for this type of beat you can chop it up it's not like a drum break needed for this type of vibe like a griselda so let's drag this even that's kind of dope just slow down That was pretty dope. So I like the slow down Wiz Khalifa type sound. I'll show you guys how to create change ups though. Grab your slice tool, change your snap to grid to like a half beat. Just go in and slice your drum break where you want it to create a change. I usually do it at snares or at the end of something. Like let's do it at the end here. We're gonna grab the slip tool now and just grab the audio and move it around. So now you can create different endings and change it up without doing a lot.
All right, so now we gotta add the vibe, like like vibey synths, like phasers and stuff like that. I might even add a synthetic bass line. I'm gonna decide though. messing with BPM here. Now for this type of slow motion music, we can speed it up. The cool part about this type of beat is you can slow it up, speed it down. It's just a matter of like how fast can the rapper rap catch the pocket. Let's add the vibe sounds.
Now, usually for vibey sounds, I'll add delay phasers like that. So I'll add that once I record. So I'm gonna do two leads, pan one left, one right, and we'll cut the takes I don't like. Let's fix this timing issue here. I gotta figure out what happened here. I think it's cause the chords come in too late. So let's fix this. So what happens here is that the open hi-hat is too delayed. So I'm going to manually line this up and just do it this way. Now, technically I want to layer a kick with this. Uh, so we need to slice the kick, shift alt to do a vertical slice, hit shift. I'm hitting alt to line up the kick in the open hi-hat. And now I'm just gonna drag them manually to line them up, hitting alt. <laughs> And we'll swap out that snare right here. So to keep this simple, I'll just copy and paste this throughout the track. So now we're not doing this every single time. Remember to change the snap degree to a smaller increment. find the areas where that happens again. I think it's just at that last chord. Okay, so let's insert two tracks here. I'm basically just oh man, hitting shift, left click to clone. I'm hitting copy, control C, and I'll find the ending over here. Hit control V and I'm going to manually line this stuff up and I'm just chopping out the open hi-hat that's a little too delayed. So a little manual work here, but it makes the rhythm feel better. All right, so now I'm gonna listen through and take out the, some of the takes that don't line up. Oh. Okay, my camera froze on me. All right, so now I'm just going to go back and take out the parts that we that aren't the greatest takes. Now 
have all the audio chopped. Now I'm going to add the delay to these leads here. I'm going to use Fruity Delay 3. I also like to take off Tempo Sync, that way it's not so predictable. Now we're sad and vibe. To send the flute to the vibe track so I guess the delay Now I'm listening for timing. going to blend all these little vibes.
I might redo the bass now that we have the bass now that we have the drums. All right, let's redo the bass. Some of the sample music is, I might cut out the bass, it might take out the vibe of this track. Alright, so I took out the bass element so that we're not getting so many musical notes. Now again, we're just cleaning up the timing. nice and simple.
might go back and add a couple kicks. We're gonna add the vibe to the entire track. I don't have too many plugins we could add a vibe to. Logic Pro is really good at adding a vibe to the entire track. We'll use what we can in FL, but there's no, in Logic Pro, they just have way better plugins for adding a vibe. Mainly tape saturation, um, pitch effects like wobble. I'll do a couple things here We're using Fruity Delay 3 though. It's the rare occasion where I think the Fruity Wave Shaper just sounds better by itself without gold clip. So let's play this track twice through.
All right, you guys will get the project files for free. Just go to busyworksbeats.com slash FL Studio. And if you guys want to learn music theory, go to busyworksbeats.com slash premium. If you're new, subscribe, uh, like this video, share with a friend. Peace out, guys.